Name? Bugsy Feligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Where'd you go this time? Uh. Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. To that train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. Mm -hmm. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. <laughs> hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Hmm. So we gotta figure out hmm, how to get them into the next realm, right? He has to get the ticket somehow. Here? 
I could actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Okay. I like the uh, artwork in this realm. This is pretty cool. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you, he left this note. Oh, let's see what the note says. Ah. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Lamans. Híjole. Gladys would love these. Looks like standard DOD issue. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! Mm -hmm. You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! <laughs> Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. <laughs> I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. <laughs> Hello? Whew, give me a break. Those stairs are murder. Hello? Hello? Whew. They're empty. Nothing in the cab but donut boxes and coffee to go cups. Same as the other cab. That's the road we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. <laughs> This way, I noticed this. Oh, grand demonio roidor. Oh, grand demonio roidor. Gladys. Hear the name of the great one. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the noble one will surely die. But. What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why? Why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then uh, I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! <laughs> Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. <laughs> Who are you guys? We are mechanics! Same as he! But we have never before seen one of our kind, so... So large! I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. So large. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, Please, butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. <laughs> it's the mug rack at the end of the world. <laughs> it's the mug rack at the end of the world. 
It's closed. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. <laughs> Here. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Your mother doesn't work here. I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. This better not stay in my pocket. Because it said not to put the butter on first, so... What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket! <laughs> if only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! gone my friend there's nothing here for us now except maybe our old car <laughs> Dios mio she's been booby trapped by who uh, domino who? <laughs> don't panic God! Manuel Calavera? <laughs> well, well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. <laughs> I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Yeah. Mob town? Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Okay.
Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. <laughs> That's what the Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. <laughs> They still haven't done these? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Nothing in the dishwasher. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. I wonder if Inez has cooled off yet. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled not I don't want to wake up Toto. Shut your hole. That's one old fridge. I don't want to wake up Toto. Your mother will love it. It's a little cabinet. Shut your hole. That's what the Lombago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. What's that? It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Mm. Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. <laughs> oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Yeah. Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Freeze up the bark. <laughs> Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. 
He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. Trap! It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir! You have saved me! But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement! What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Mm -hmm. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is little Manny. Come here, little Manny. Ow! Hey, <laughs> must be little Mitchy. Any messages for me? No. Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearance, this camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. All agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This <laughs> has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. This scammer sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. <laughs> calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. <laughs> It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector, and a gun so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause.
Okay. I've got Sever Hand, and I've got the Agent's um, photo. I don't know what to do now. I can't go into the casino yet. There's some delay there. <laughs> It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. <laughs> yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad. Mmm, show business coffee. And then, here's the good part. You don't say. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> ah! Ow! Oh, what did you do that for? I didn't. I. You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. <laughs> I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. It's a handheld grinder. Okay. <laughs> I have a hand, so. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. <laughs> yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down. We got to start your makeup. Now don't go too far. Like... You never know what oh it's showtime around here. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else? Show business coffee. What's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? <laughs> Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering <laughs> funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limon himself. And I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Well. 
buenos días. Back off, sleazeball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Mechi, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, <laughs> help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. <laughs> hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. I'm going to hunt this twerp the first chance I get. Oh, for crying out <laughs> loud. Young mate. Special assignment just in from Salvador. Crack that machine and leave the chain right away. Yes, sir! <laughs> Not funny. Gah. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. Oh my gosh. I'm tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. <laughs> To the pigeon. Figured eventually we'd have to do that. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolucion! for me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the all time! You'll never find my secret right out at door. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores! <laughs> High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. Nothing else in there besides that agent's photo. No! 
not so high! Flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. <laughs> Look out! I saw Bowsley run down here. Where did he go? Bowsley's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful. Hmm. Okay. I'll take the car. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Watch the... No use for it. Bowsley's probably, well, without something really helpful. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Bowser's probably go. in that maze. 
but I'd never be able to find them without, well, without something really helpful. He's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful. I don't know, I can climb onto the bone wagon. I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. There we go. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us!
Okay. that you? You better back off, man! I mean it! I'm not feeling too rosy! I'm having... I feel... I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here! Yeah, man! <laughs> who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants, is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful! Do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! You get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... Stranger? <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. <laughs> there you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. <laughs> you have a great day now. Conduct business with Hector Lamaz. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamaz, eh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple question. Huh. Okay, if you were a cat, how many of you could Hector Lamaz fit in his stomach? Twelve. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector. Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many casinos does Hector Lamans own? Dang it. Twenty-five. 
24? 24? Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. If Hector Lamans were driving a car 50 miles an hour, then what number am I thinking of right now? <laughs> 12. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Ah, okay. How many stones might an Englishman say that Hector Lamans weighs? Twelve. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. Twelve seems like a reasonable way. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What is Hector Lamans' favorite prime number? Prime number. Ah, this one's easy. Oh, no. Oh, it could be two or five. Dang it. Five. Oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, how many times has Hector Lamans unsuccessfully run for mayor? Two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. <laughs> All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, what is the circumference of Hector Lamans' head in inches? Four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What is Hector Lamans' specific gravity in units of one thousand per? Nineteen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many limos does Hector Lamans have in his garage? Four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many times has Hector Lamans run for mayor and won? Six. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector <laughs> Lamans. All right. Uh. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. What are the odds in a million of Hector Lamans' slot machine paying out? something high, right? 27. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How old was Hector Lamans when he stole his first dollar? Nine. Yeah, well, that was an easy Finally. one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. <laughs> Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. Hmm.
Hast du Mint? Hmm. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho! Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. <laughs> the real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is raining from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Mm. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. Right. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Uh, I, 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 of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> okay. Well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the Flores couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... Friends now? I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea.
Sproutella, not Spackle. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Well, so much for my third arm. <laughs> it's a ladder. Ay, Chihuahua! That one must be yours. Don't forget to send for help. back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Huh. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. Oops, probably talk to her. <laughs> what? You know, no, I have a taste for there's a difference. I thought I told you to scat, man. <laughs> Hmm. Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive? Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? She loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino was right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour, because that idiot Bowersley ran off with all their fast-acting Sproutella. Very slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right, and tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you... Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? <laughs> huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! Hey! My scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all alone. <laughs> it's locked. So... I have to find his body, right? It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. It's not doing anything now. It's not doing anything now. something over this way. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Yes, lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Doesn't sound good.
Wait, did Manny get a ticket? <laughs> You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. Aww. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> this hmm. is the best boss. It's like the ending of Aladdin. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. So yeah, I just finished Grim Fandango, yay! I liked uh, this last actor in the third year. It was pretty good. Oh my gosh, the music is really loud. Um, it was a pretty good game overall. I can see why uh, people thought Broken Age was going to be uh, similar to this, and... Um, Unfortunately, Broken Age wasn't as organized as this one was. This one was pretty good. I like this one better. So, that was Grim Fandango, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.